we are still continuing with linear combinations of normal variables. And in this video, we are going to be taking a look at repeated independent observations. So let's get right into it. Now, you need to know that if x1, x2, x3, all the way up to xn, are n independent observations from the same normal distribution, then x1 plus x2 plus x3 all the way up to xn should also follow a normal distribution where the mean is the multiple of the mean of x, so that's n mu, and the variance is also a multiple of the variance of x, which is n of sigma squared. So this is a very important result. And now we'd want to take a look at a couple of questions where we can apply this concept here. Let's start with this question here. It says, the lifetimes and hours of long-lived light bulbs and analog light bulbs have the independent distributions normal of mean 1020 and variance 45 squared and normal of mean 2800 and variance 52 squared respectively. Find the probability that the total of the lifetimes of five randomly chosen long-lived bulbs is less than 5,200 hours. Alright, so this is a case of five independent observations from one normal distribution, which is this one here. Which means that if T is the sum of the lifetimes of five long-lived light bulbs, it should mean that the mean of T will be five times the mean of the normal distribution, which is 1,020. And this gives us 5,100. And the variance of T will also be five times this variance here, which is 45 squared. And this will give us 10,000. 125. Okay, so T also follows a normal distribution of 5100 and 10125. So it's like this. So I've taken note that we have five repeated independent observations. And so for the distribution of the sum of these observations, we said it will be normally distributed where the mean will be five times the original mean and the variance will also be five times the original variance. So that's what led us to getting this. All right, so the question is saying, find the probability that the total of the lifetimes of the five randomly chosen long-lived bulbs is less than 5,200 hours. So that's like the probability that T is less than 5,200, which is the same as standardized Z is less than 5200 minus 5100 and that's over the square root of 10125. All right, so let's do the calculation here. So we're saying here that's 5200 minus 5100 over the square root of 10125 and this gives us 0 0.994 to 3 dp. So that's like the probability that z is less than 0 0.994. Okay, so here this is as good as phi of 0 0.994, which gives us from the tables you should get 0 0.840 to 3 sf. So that's the answer we get right here. Okay, so we want to look at another question. And here it is. It says, weights of cups have a normal distribution with mean 91 grams and standard deviation 3.2 grams. Weights of saucers have an independent normal distribution with mean of 72 grams and standard deviation of 2.6 grams. Cups and saucers are chosen at random to be packed in boxes 
with six cups and six saucers in each box. Given that each empty box weighs 550 grams, find the probability that the total weight of a box containing six cups and six saucers exceeds 1550 grams. All right, so it's quite a loaded question. I would want you to go over it again and try to understand it before you can check out my solution. All right, so in this case, we've got cups whose weight is normally distributed as given with the mean of 91 and a variance. Since the standard deviation is 3.2, the variance will be 3.2 squared. And we also have sources with a weight that's normally distributed with mean 72 and variance should be 2.6 squared. All right. So the question is saying that in each box, there are six cups and six saucers. So again, these are repeated observations of each single variable. And we've also been told that the mass of an empty box is 550 grams. All right, so the question demands that we find the probability that the total weight of a box exceeds 1550. So we will digest that the total weight is normally distributed. So I'll say let T represent the total weight of the box. And here the mean of T should be six times the mean for the cups, that's 91. Since we have six cups in a box and it's plus six times the mean for S for the sources, which is 6 times 72, since we have 6 sources in a box. And we are also going to add that to the mass of each empty box, which is 550 grams. So that's the mean of T. Okay, so we're saying here that 6 times 91 plus 6 times 72, and this plus 550. And this gives us 1528. So we have... 1, 5, 2, 8 here. For the variance of t, that's again going to be 6 times the variance for c, that's 3.2 squared, plus 6 times the variance for s, which is 2.6 squared. And that's all we will consider. 550 is a constant, so we will not include it in the computation of variance. And here it has to be sigma squared. All right, so here that's going to be 6 times 3.2 squared plus 6 times 2.6 squared. And this gives us 102. So we have 1 or 2 here. So we are saying that T follows a normal distribution where the mean is 1, 5, 2, 8 and the variance is 1 or 2, okay? And for the probability that the total weight of the box exceeds 1,550, that's like the probability that T is greater than 1,550. And this is like the probability standardizing that Z is greater than 1,550 minus 1,528 over the square root of 102. Okay, so using the calculator, that's like 1550 minus 1528, and that's over the square root of 102, and we get here 2.178. So that's like the probability that Z is greater than 2.178. And this is like 1 minus phi of 2.178. And for phi of 2.178, we get 0 0.9853 from the tables. And 1 minus 0 0.9853 is 0 0.0147. And the answer is to 3SF. And so that's what we get.